So this is uh, Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com and today we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to turn a photo into a um, cartoon type um, image. Okay, so basically I have my, uh, my image here of uh, some model and we're going to be turning her into a cartoon. This is quite simple to do and it's also quite fun as well. Okay, okay what we need to do first is uh, duplicate the layer. Okay. Then what we need to do is change the layer to colour dodge. Okay, it looks all very very bright now. This is perfectly normal. Now what you need to do is press Ctrl and I to invert the image. We'll go completely white, that's perfectly normal. Now you need to go up to uh, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change it to 7. Or 7.0, that'll be fine. Okay. Now what we need to do is go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and threshold. Okay. Select OK. And now what you need to do to this is change the threshold level to 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now we have um, basically a black and white um, pen type of uh, drawing of the image. Right, now what we need to do is create a new layer. So go to layer, new layer, okay, name it whatever you want. Okay, you see at the top here, and you want to change the blending mode to multiply. Okay, now what you need to do is select your brush and you want to basically paint over it now. So find the colour that looks close to the skin colour and paint on the um, picture itself. Okay, and as you can see, you will not go over the lines or any of the um, darker parts because basically you've changed the, uh, the screen mode to multiply so you, you're pretty um, flexible with doing this so you don't need to worry about uh, rubbing out any bits of the face or any of the features and uh, make sure that it's a, um, you choose a brush size that's big enough um, and try to be careful not to go out of the lines if um, like I say like here because that's not part of, of the face anymore um, try to avoid the eyes, avoid the, uh, the lips and the teeth and basically just cover up the face as best as possible. When you've coloured in the face you should get something like this, okay? Um, and obviously now you just move on to do the other features. Uh, I'm going to do the lips now and we'll give her some, some, uh, some lipstick, okay? And uh, make sure that, like I say, you adjust your pen size, or your brush size rather. Um, zoom in if needed because it helps a hell of a lot more if you zoom in. Um, because you can get more accurate with uh, the smaller details such as this so basically like I say just be careful that you don't go over the teeth um, and just basically give her some uh, some nice lips okay same for the top obviously when you've got darker areas of the lips you won't be able to see see them because of um, can't go over the black lines as I've stated, um, but you know you can, you can still try and have a go, um, just just to give it a very very faint outline of a lip. Um, okay, and do the same for the eyes. Change the eyes. I'll give her some blue eyes. Okay, find a, a nice colour and just basically colour in the eyes. Okay, all right. And we'll do the hair. And she's got kind of a blonde hair, so uh, uh, the only way to really sort of um, get a blondy sort of colour is, it's, I don't know, it's, in cartoons it's quite difficult, um, most people use a kind of yellowy colour, um, so for blonde we'll, we'll try and use a, a kind of yellow colour and see what we come back with, so if I just zoom out and uh, I'll do the hair, and put the, uh, the pen size, uh, brush size up uh, quite a bit because there's quite a lot of hair, and here we go. Try not to worry about the black background because uh, that's not really important. You just obviously just concentrate on the uh, on the face and the hair and the body parts. I um, mean, it's up to you if you want to do the background if you want, but obviously the main feature of this um, is the face. Okay. So let's pan it down a bit more. Okay. And, and there we have it, we basically have uh, quite a good uh, picture there. Um, and one thing, before you change the colours, so obviously you started off with the skin and the lips and the eyes, when the colour that you're working with first, 
once you've finished doing what you're doing, always zoom right in and try and see if there's any um, missed parts. I mean, obviously you can't really see it, but there's a few pixels here that have been missed, a pixel there, a pixel here, you know, so obviously once you've done, just go through the whole thing and make sure that you've tidied the whole thing up and you haven't left any um, any any missing pixels that need to be coloured in, okay, because um, otherwise your, your picture will look like it's not done properly, so to speak, so... Uh, yeah, that's one thing you do need to look, take care of, um, is making sure that you do go around and make sure that all the pixels are coloured in. Okay, right, Let's just zoom out. Okay, and that's basically a, you know, not too bad picture. I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can add shade into uh, the picture. Um, so obviously, with the skin colour, if you want to, you can, I don't know, add a bit of a bit of a shadow underneath her neck, obviously make sure that you get the right kind of uh, darkness to it, the right kind of colour depending on the picture itself. Um, don't go overkill with it but on, on, every now and again, um, just if you if you want to, if you've got the time to, um, just change the brush, brush size um, and then just add a line or something like that in certain parts of the face where, you've, where you'd expect to see a shadow, you know. Just things like that really, just small little details, I mean, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Okay, okay, the final touch to this, if you don't want to make a cartoon, you can actually turn it into pop art. So if you want to do that, you just go into Filter, uh, Sketch, Half Tone Pattern, alright. Okay, change the size to 2, change the contrast to 50, and make sure that uh, pattern dot is selected. Select OK and there you have it. You now have a pop art picture. There you go. See, so it's, it's all good fun really isn't it? So you, you don't need to just make a uh, cartoon, you can turn it into a pop art image as well. Now obviously if you are doing a pop art image, make sure that you only do the skin first. You know, um, you know do the skin then add the um, you know, the half tone and then start colouring the rest of it in because otherwise um, I was just showing you an example here because I changed the eyes and I changed the lips and then I applied the, uh, the half tone as you can see it changes everything to the default colour so obviously if you're doing uh, pop art make sure that you do the, uh, the face skin uh, colour first then apply the half tone once you've done that then you can change the rest of the image so if I just um, get rid of that for a second you know we, we're now back to our cartoon so yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, if you have any more questions, um, if you want to visit the website videoeffectsuniverse.com, um, please come into the forum, sign up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.